Good evening and welcome to Hungary Report, starting off public media and once for a language news hour. I'm Cenge Gabriela Iboya with today's news from Hungary in the Carpathian Basin. Let's begin. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade has no knowledge of any Hungarian casualties of the brutal terror attacks that happened in Sri Lanka. In the past couple of years, the country has become one of the most popular destinations among Hungarians. Around 4,000 people travel there yearly. The Ministry asks everyone who is planning to visit the region to register themselves at the consulate. Tomás Schmidt and his wife work as travel agents in Sri Lanka. The couple was waiting for a group of Hungarians at the airport when the first explosions occurred. They have about 30 tourists with them now, and they're all unharmed. Most Christians in Sri Lanka live in Nagombo and Colombo. A lot of people contacted us from home for news, and we've been helping everyone looking for their relatives, Tomás Schmidt said. This footage was recorded in Gala, about 100 kilometers from the capital, by a young Hungarian woman who also lives in Sri Lanka. The video shows that the streets are completely empty and the shops are all closed. Judith Kovács told M1 News that internet access was restricted in the country, so everyone had difficulties receiving information and news of what was happening. What I've seen here in Gala, in my environment, is the complete chaos that is otherwise not usual in Sri Lanka. They don't really know how to cope with the situation yet, and everyone's just looking for information, Judith Kovács said. Around 1,000 Hungarian tourists visit Sri Lanka each year. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade has contacted every Hungarian who registered themselves. According to information so far, there are no Hungarian injuries or casualties of the series of terror attacks. We deeply condemn this terror attack. This has proven once again that terrorists have been deliberately targeting worshippers and specifically Christians. Everyone knows that Easter is a holiday of the Christian and Catholic communities when there are lots of people in church. Knowing this, the terrorists attacked believers during prayer service, which is an extremely ruthless act. We extend our deepest condolences to the families of the victims and those injured, the minister said. The Hungarian government has set up an emergency phone line that anyone who has relatives in Sri Lanka can call in case they are unable to reach them. President of the Republic, Janos Adair, expressed his condolences to the head of the Sri Lankan state in a telegraph. The president wrote, In these heavy hours of grief, hungry citizens are standing by the people of Sri Lanka. Hungary continues to be a committed partner when it comes to the global fight against terrorism and religious extremism, wrote Prime Minister Viktor Orban in his telegraph that he sent to the head of the Sri Lankan state after Sunday's bombings. While Christian persecution takes the lives of more than 4,000 people yearly, international organizations and human rights forums stay silent about it. This was written by the state secretary responsible for the helping of persecuted Christians. Tristan Asbe reminded everyone the Orban government was the first to start a program back in 2016 to help persecuted Christians. He added, his office will examine how they can help the Christians in Sri Lanka after the incident. In Hungary, the resurrection of Jesus Christ was celebrated with holy masses nationwide. Church leaders emphasized in their Easter speeches, the hope and joy of the resurrection shines throughout the celebration of Easter. Feltámadott az Úr, bizonyal feltámadott Hallelujah. Amen. The world is divided at Easter. There are some who proclaim the good news, while others fall silent or are silenced. The pastoral president of the Hungarian Reformed Church Synod said, Easter is only as much as we tell others about joyful faith, joyful experiences and joyful hope. Like Paul the Apostle said, I don't want you to be uninformed, and I don't want you to be sad, like people who don't have hope," he said. Cardinal Peter Erdő, Archbishop of Esztergom Budapest, called on the faithful gathered in the Esztergom Basilica to pray and commemorate the victims of the attack in Sri Lanka. When I sent a message about our solidarity and empathy to the Archbishop of Ceylon, I also expressed my certainty, that is also an ancient belief of Christianity, that the blood of Christians sows seeds, and that from this sacrifice and testimony, new faith, new hope and new joy will arise for the Church, and through it, for all of humanity," the Archbishop said. The congregation sang at the Greek Catholic Great Cathedral in Debrecen. Cardinal Bishop Philip Kochis said in his Easter homily that no matter how great a sinner, 
Man is, mercy is stronger. We must believe in this because Christ rose from the dead. Resurrected Christ wants to, and is only able to, bless the world through us. That's why he asks this faith of us. That's why he reinforces us always, but especially during this holiday, the Cardinal Bishop said. The President Bishop of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Hungary said at a service held for prisoners and their relatives that in the story of Easter, men hid as cowards, but the women were brave and went to Christ's tomb. Let us also be as brave, the women and men present here. Let us be as brave and let us go because bravery pays off, especially on the road of faith, the President Bishop said. The Evangelical Bishop emphasized, let us be disciples that trust in Christ and God, and then the miracle can also happen to us. The Carpathian Basin's largest food blessing was held in the early hours in Cheek Sereda. Thousands gathered in the secular city's main square. According to tradition, like every year, their baskets had ham, eggs, lamb and bread. We believe in eternal life and we are prepared for this holiday. This gives meaning to everything we do. And as it's the Hungarian state's duty to keep the Hungarian nation alive, the celebration of Easter is what helps Hungarian Christianity stay alive until the end of time. The jackpot of the national lottery had been won. The winner became 4.2 billion forints or 30 million euros richer on Saturday. The prize had been accumulated for the past 38 weeks, there was a real lottery fever throughout the country. But it's important to remember to be very careful with a prize of this caliber. Someone very lucky has won the national lottery. The winning numbers were selected in public media show Lucky Saturday. 14, 21, 53, 60 and 90 were the lucky numbers, and the winning ticket was worth about 13 million euros. This is the third biggest jackpot in the history of the game. The largest sum of money anyone won was in 2003 at almost 16 million euros, and the second largest was in 2015 with more than 15 million euros for the five-number match. The jackpot this time could be used to buy this castle in Buda, twice. According to an analysis by ingotland.com, a real estate website, the prize would be enough to purchase a complete apartment building in Budapest. And the 13 million euros would be enough to buy all of the beach houses for sale in a Balaton lakeside town. According to a financial consultant interviewed by M1 News, it's better to ask for the help of a professional before investing such a large sum of money. Eriko Tranchan emphasized that if the winner is unable to handle the money, then they can easily feel that their prize disappears as quickly as it came. It is definitely better to think in terms of a portfolio at such a huge sum of money, like investing in real estate or companies, she said. The owner of the winning lottery ticket has 90 days to come forward through the hotline of Serentriatic Limited, the lottery company. This year, people are waited to the Hoda city section of Mezukovesh for a lovely Mocho Easter celebration. Four games can be tried out, but people can also get to know different folklore crafts. The organizer's aim is to bring traditions closer to visitors. This is why people can also try on Mocho folk costumes. Egg painting, egg shoeing, the showing of master crafts, folk music concerts, a beauty pageant for lambs and a herding dog competition. Easter traditions will once again come alive at the Shkansen of St. Andre. As Easter falls so close to St. George's Day this year, the Shkansen Easter's central topic will be one of the oldest of symbols, the lamb, shepherds and sheep herding. Visitors are awaited on Monday as well, when according to ancient Hungarian traditions, girls will be sprinkled with buckets of water by local men. And that's all for now, but don't forget you can catch Hunger Reports every night after 11 p.m. news and online as always. Do stick around and watch our German, Russian and Chinese language news. Thank you for watching and have a happy Easter.